I guess. I guess it started getting really bad this year. Yeah, Lilith, yeah, we were neighbors, not close by each other or anything like that. I live pretty far from the school, and so I'm always the first on the bus in the morning and the last to get off. The only person as far out there as I am was Lilith. We would talk in the mornings about, you know, just stuff, school, teachers, you know, stuff. I mean, when her other friends and my other friends get on, we didn't talk a lot. But early in the morning and just before home, it was just us. She wasn't like anyone else in school. My mom called her free spirited. The other kids in school, they called her worse. become more mentally fit. When physical or emotional problems result from stress, look at your lifestyle. I'd like you to jot down these questions. Number one, am I following good health practices? Am I able to eat regular meals and get plenty of physical activity? Do I get... Dylan, Dylan, come on, you're supposed to be taking notes on this. Please, get your notebook out. Okay, I'd like you to write these down. Symptoms of depression. Continual sadness. They had different ways, drawings, little snide, rude, or even vulgar comments, little messages left for her. They were always there reminding her that she was not one of them, and for that reason alone, they disliked her. Page 112. Deborah, are you awake? Oh. <laughs> the third paragraph, dear, we're reading General... Charles Krulak's speech. Oh, okay. Every day we have to make decisions. It is through this decision-making process that we show those around us the quality of our character. The majority of the decisions we have to make are no-brainers. Deciding what we are gonna have for breakfast is not going to test your character. Judgment, baby, but not character. The true test of the character comes when the stakes are high, when the chips are down, when your gut starts to turn, when your sweat starts to form on your brow, when you know the decision you're about to make may not be popular, but it just may be made. That's when your true character is exposed. <laughs> ah, my minion has arrived. There were times when she had a little peace in her day. Big Ed, one of the boys from the football team, was her chemistry partner. When Ed was around, nobody messed with Lilith. Mr. Sanders, I completely forgot the pictures about the group for the year, but committee was supposed to bring the off state. Can we please go to our lockers and get them? Sure, go straight there and back. Then. Um, Earth and Danielle, we haven't even taken that many pictures for you, 
food and they're not due for another week. Yeah, what's this all about? Oh, see. I had never been so scared in my entire life. I knew what was happening and I couldn't move. She knew I was there and she never called out once. I guess she didn't want them to know I was there. By the time my hand moved and the door opened, I was alone. I don't remember much of the rest of the day until that evening. We were on the bus and Lilith was more quiet than I had ever seen. to do with the incident in the bathroom. I thought maybe I should ask her if she was okay. Then I remembered that she knew I was in the bathroom. She knew. I wish I had done something that day. Maybe things would be. I just, I didn't know. I didn't understand. I can't do this anymore. I've tried. God, I've tried. And the harder I try, the worse it just seemed to get. I can't do it anymore. There's got to be something better out there. Something better than this. It's not my fault! I didn't- You might as well have. You never cut her even a little slack, and now- We were just goofing around. It wasn't supposed to- Where's Kim? Where's Samantha? Last time I saw them, they were in the office. Danielle Harrington, there's a police officer on the way to ask you some questions. Come with me now. I lost a cousin, Ed. I lost my cousin over a stupid, stupid reason. I often wondered just how things might have turned out if I had spoken up on the bus that day. Mom says that when we make choices in life, small or large, we actually choose one road over the other. We move forward after that, leaving the road not traveled behind, its destination forever unknown to us. I just, I keep thinking about that day on the bus. I could have said something, but I didn't. It's important to remember that it's not your fault. You know, Lilith made the choice she made on her own. I understand that. It's just... And yet you're still sitting here with a lot on your mind. Miss Smith, have you ever wished you could go back and change the past? All the time, sweetie, all the time. But unfortunately, that's not how the world works. You know, we get some good, we get some bad. We have to learn from both. And? And then we move forward.
I'm sorry for the interruption, but Deborah's mother's here. Are you ready? Do you need, do you need a few minutes? I'm ready. Anytime you need to talk, Deborah. I'm always here. It's been rough, and things at the school haven't been the same since Lilith left us. The halls haven't been quite as loud, and the others, well, they've been nicer. The most noticeable difference to me, how quiet it is on the bus when I first get on, and just before I get off. 